my name is Chuyang Sally Huang Bo, and I am a master's student at NYU, um, specializing in flute performance. And I'm also an adjunct instructor here, um, teaching undergraduate flute students. Welcome. Thanks so much for taking the time to be here. I really appreciate it. And um, it's been a while. We uh, had a great collaboration this past year and um, now in a totally different landscape with education and uh, coursework. So, um, so yeah, thanks for being here. We're talking about uh, piano and how an instrumentalist or an aspiring musician can have um, such a, you know, a diverse relationship when it comes to how they can use the piano for their own benefit. So, um, so I'm so interested to, to be able to listen to your thoughts about, you know, your experience with piano and um, how you've used the piano and, you know, what are some of the benefits of having some fundamental knowledge and skill in the piano. Um, so feel free to talk about whatever you'd like. I'm really uh, grateful for um, your thoughts. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me here. Um, so in terms of piano, I actually started on piano um, when I was about, I think, four to five years old. Um, I wasn't the best, but I tried my best. Um, and I would learn a lot of valuable skills. Like when you first learn piano, you have to know what a triad is, what a scale is, um, and what the distance between the keys are, and what that sounds like, which is such a basic element in, um, you know, music and music playing and performance. So I think it had a huge impact on my music career early on, definitely. Um, yeah, so as a flutist now, it's like, it definitely helps quite a bit, especially like, for example, whenever I play um, box sonatas or Mozart concertos, um, those are all um, very tonal. So I have to go ahead and analyze the chords and figure out where I should put the emphasis and where I should tense up and release stuff like that with like s simple um like little nuances here and there just to make it even more musical and it brings a whole other like level into your playing and um it provides an entirely different listening experience as well for the audience so yeah so there's so you're talking some about theory that's one of the questions that comes up um you know we talk about how as a musician, you know, whichever instrument you're playing, you're doing some kind of analysis of the music. Um, but what's the difference? Why should we use the piano for that process? You know, we can analyze chords without knowing how to play the piano. So then, you know, in what ways can the piano be a part of that process? Do you, you know, what are your thoughts about, about that? I mean, being classically trained and all, I have been through harmony classes where they used uh, keyboards, used pianos, and um, ear training classes where they didn't use pianos at all. And I've experienced both sides, and um, I can confidently say that having a piano there, seeing the visual keys, like the black and white keys, knowing the distance, like, it changes the game completely. Yeah, I agree. The visual element, it's very much uh, accessible right off the bat to see um, patterns and, and like distances between notes. And of course, being able to play chords and then hearing a melody against a chord, there's so much you can do. I always thought it was interesting, like in, um, in uh, oral skills class or theory, when we were doing group exercises, and then I see across the room, like one person is, is working on like intervals like this because they're playing the viola or violin or something. But I'm thinking to myself like more flat, you know, the right. distance of notes that way, or maybe some other instrumentalist would have a different kind of way um, of visualizing that kind of stuff. Um, what other ways do you use the piano in your um, own performance, even like outside of repertoire? 
Well, um, outside of repertoire, well, sometimes it honestly helps even with just like flute solo pieces where it doesn't even require the piano. Um, it helps a lot to just play it on the piano and hear it and listen to what it's supposed to sound like and what it could sound like on a different instrument. Like that helps too, big yeah. time. That's cool. And I, I'm wondering about like the sustain of the flute. The legato that you can capture is a little different from each of the notes on the piano. It's like a, a hammer. It's a percussion okay. instrument. In many ways, it's like hitting a string. So we can get the sound of the, um, it kind of ma make the illusion of legato, but it's not quite. I wonder if that would be um, just the contrast of having the kind of percussive qualities of the piano, but you can still hear the contour and then see if you can get the legato with the flute. Right. You can't imagine the ebb and flow of a um, music or a melody without knowing what the notes are first, right? Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't hold a um, leading tone for a certain amount of time or like, you know, stuff like that. Just little nuances. So, yeah. yeah. And for um, tuning wise, do you still rely on the piano to tune or is that something that, um, you know, what about with your, with an ensemble piece? Is that different or do you always um, use the piano in any tuning situation? Well, um, every tuning situation is pretty different, but every time instrumentalists do play with the piano, we always tune to the piano because we can't, you know, push in or out the head joint of a piano, mm -hmm. or we can't, like, yeah. fiddle with the lead of a piano, right? So we always tune to the piano, and hopefully it's in tune. Usually is. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. And then with, rep I was just thinking about repertoire that is, um, you know, played with the piano, there's different, um, tuning that the piano uses that the notes are tuned a certain frequency but then um, it's all equally out of tune versus um, when you're playing a solo piece on flute or cello you can approximate the perfect frequency for the perfect sounding intervals right it's different like your tuning is slightly different right when you're playing with the piano is that does that um, is that very prominent or is it is it more subtle as well um, it's different. It's definitely a different kind of um, mindset, I would say, um, yeah. versus playing with a different in instrument. Is, oh, sorry, different instrumentalist. Um, because if it's a different instrumentalist, we usually tune to each other, and we understand like, um, oh, my instrument goes sharp when it goes high, and yours goes flat when it goes high. So we'll meet in the middle up there. Yeah. Whereas with a piano, it's just a completely different mindset in that um, the piano is assumed to be in tune and I have to learn to hear that and adjust to the piano, which is an extremely like good skill to have. So playing with a piano is um, extremely helpful in terms of learning how to tune your instrument. Yeah, um, that's like true. Learning, like, you know, do the little uh, fine tuning yeah how does your um knowledge of piano help in a rehearsal situation when you're working with a pianist um in, like, in maybe in like the communication that you can have or things that you're trying to you know accomplish together a certain musical goal do you feel like your knowledge of piano can inform the communication with the pianist Oh, absolutely. Like, um, if you know the instrument that um, your partner is playing, then it definitely helps in like communicating. Oh, I want a little more pedal here, yeah. or I want a little less sustain here. Like, you can definitely communicate that a lot more um, fluently. Whereas with other instruments, you're just like, can you make this sound, you know, a little different? I don't know what to how to technically do that on your instrument so it's yeah it's a tech, it's a um different experience as well yeah i remember with um some times when i was playing some cello and piano repertoire 
I had an idea for some sound that I was maybe thinking we could try for it, or my partner was going to try for. It. I didn't exactly know how how he would do that, um, but then he knew what that meant, like in terms of his understanding, his instrument. Um, but also maybe back to the piano, having some, you know, just knowing how the piano works, how you a string is going to resonate, but ultimately it's dissipating. So the idea of like making a crescendo on one note is not really possible, but maybe, you know, then the pianist can figure out maybe other ways of compensating or doing some other colors or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm like, for example, there's um, passages in Mozart where you repeat notes um, in the same way, but it has to be like the same length. Um, but it has to feel like it's moving somewhere. Yeah. So I definitely understand that. So like knowing the that kind of um, aspect on the piano really helps even on my flute. Um, so I'm, I recall like my old piano teacher telling me if you want to um, create a sense of movement in your playing, you want to play with the volume, um, with the dynamics of the piano, especially like if it's the same note. So I would apply that to my flute, and it would do exactly that. It wow, yeah, that's good. That's, that's really interesting, yeah. And I'm thinking it's pr probably similar with um, composing, having, you know, the piano is, a, is able to act almost as a synthesizer, depending on, like, the range that you're playing in or the articulations you're using or pedaling or whatever. And then they kind of way that you, you know, an instrument would play, you know, a flute might play a certain way, um, like a stereotypical way of, of the instrument playing, or like a, you know, a timpani might play a certain note. So then, um, yeah, I think the piano can be a tool to really uh, capture all these different orchestral sounds and colors and things like that in, in a collaborative situation or composing. Um, so speaking of like the the piano as a there's so many different ways you can use the piano um if you have in the past had keyboard skills classes my questions are um what was the kind of focus of the class and if you could do them again or teach your own keyboard class what would you uh, emphasize for other musicians um, well, for me, I think it really depended on the teacher. Um, I remember one keyboard harmony teacher was, she was very stringent about, uh, what finger goes on what note. Yeah. And I had learned it differently from a previous teacher. So I was just sitting there panicking, but, um, yeah, there's that teacher and another teacher, um, for keyboard harmony, um, put more emphasis on just understanding the scales and being able to play several octaves at a time, arpeggios, um, learning the different chords and what potential, like what possible progressions there are. And just like knowing literally the basics and the harmony, the harmony of um, how the keyboard works. So yeah, um, I think they both helped in a lot of ways, but personally, I think um, as an in instrumentalist, I think uh, the um, learning more theory and like the basic aspects of the piano while learning um, some light repertoire really helped me. So if I were to teach my own students, I would probably do something along that. Nice. Yeah, some application of, you know, theory maybe through repertoire could be more impactful in the long run. Um, speaking of teaching, how do you rely on the piano when you're working with another uh, a, a student learning flute? Mm, give me a second. Hmm. Or maybe not as much. I'm not sure, uh, like in your own private teaching. I mean, it mostly, it usually depends on the repertoire. So, um, 
if the piece is accompanied, I'll usually learn the basic chords of the piece so that I can accompany um, to an extent so that my student will hear the chords and understand where it goes and how the music flows mm -hmm. and how the two parts collaborate together to create one piece of music instead of having two different parts. Yeah, so as a um, flute teacher, sometimes not having um, a piano like accessible there um, isn't always the best because definitely the music sounds completely different if the student uh, knows the piano part. Yeah, so there's kind of like an integration yeah. of the larger harmonic context for the, um, to have a, maybe a more thorough understanding of the, the, the solo line. Um, right. Is that how you feel about playing orchestral music as well? To The piano can help you capture in your ear maybe, and in your even the physicality maybe the sense of the larger picture oh absolutely um especially when i play when i practice orchestral excerpts there's often passages where there's a melody being passed around in different parts of the orchestra and that will be um that will be in the piano part yeah of the excerpt so i'm just thinking too to, yeah, how it would be strange if you had like um, some kind of call and answer or something, and then mm. in the spaces or the rests, um, you know, there's nothing to like listen to to respond to. So the rests exactly. are like a moment where you're, or maybe there's a counter theme in another instrument or whatever. So then it actually puts the parts together to so that you're part the function of your part in a given measure makes sense based off of what else is happening so um right. yeah maybe the pianist uh has it lucky in many ways because we play a lot of solo repertoire um and we can have all these voices going on simultaneously so it's almost like the full ensemble is at play um but you have to be really like proactive and discerning maybe when you're playing all these other settings of repertoire and, and instruments and and um but the piano can be a, be there for you when it comes to piecing all that together so right absolutely so like whenever there's interchanging melodies like you understand um this is where this goes and this is how this is supposed to go and the piano or the orchestra orchestra will answer in that way as well and you need to answer a certain way to the orchestra or the yeah. piano yeah, there's a, so it gives a broader understanding of just how the piece comes together definitely um do you feel like your teachers for flute have used the piano a lot in lessons with you or just does that maybe not maybe that also depends on the teacher or a different stage of your own learning that the piano was used more prominently for your flute lessons? I honestly wish that in my earlier years in playing flute, the piano was a part, an integral part of the lessons, because that would have given me so much um, clarity in terms of understanding how, like, which notes are what and what fingerings match with what key and which way it goes and how that um, affects my embouchure. Um, so yeah, as a little flute lit, I think that would have been really helpful. Um, but unfortunately, my earlier flute teachers did not. Um, so I had to go home and figure it out by myself. Hmm. But that was fun. Um, but later on, um, when it got to more, um, more integral, uh, pieces where there was a lot more piano going on and there was a lot more back and forth and more communication that was needed um, definitely my just as I said before my teachers would bring up how I need to know the piano part or know the orchestra part um, in order to follow what's going on mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's really great about uh, this kind of journey we're on you know with solo playing but the piano it can take different forms depending on like where we are um 
one point of clarification I was just thinking of. So when it comes to learning about music in general, theory, um, you know, tonality, this kind of thing, um, the idea of using the piano to help kind of enhance your learning of music, um, is that something that you kind of figured out and made your own, you know, through time or um, because I'm wondering how much you really, let's say you're doing a theory assignment or something for a school. Would you go to your flute more often or um, a mix of flute and piano or just depending on the assignment? Like, what are your thoughts about piano's role kind of in learning? Um, honestly, if I did use my flute for the um, those theory um, exercises, I think it would have helped me more with my own flute performance um but no i went to the piano because it was more visually um you know it's it's visually there and it's easy to see like um you know what goes where mm -hmm. and how the chord progressions work and it's easier to play all the notes at the same time as well. yeah <laughs> especially if it's like chord analysis so yeah i would usually go to the piano first yeah, that's and good. Then yeah, maybe see what it sounds like on the flute afterwards. But so there's kind of a um, a confidence maybe that you can build that you're able to use the piano in many for many different purposes and find success in whatever it is that you're trying to, you know, get gain success in. Um, if you could, if you could like give a message maybe to a first semester. Um, student who is in their first year of college, their first semester of um, key, a keyboard class. Um, just, you know, based off your experience, based off what we talked about in, you know, collaboration, solo playing, orchestral playing, learning music, teaching, um, maybe like some kind of message of encouragement or like what would you, what, what would you be your message to, to people embarking, uh, maybe never even seen the piano before? Okay, well, let me tell you that learning piano is going to be a ride. It's definitely going to be a ride. It's going to be a bumpy and smooth and um, crazy, but really fun ride that you'll be going on. Um, and trust me, once you learn the piano, it's going to open new doors for you. And it's going to be so freeing because once you know all the basics and once you understand how the piano works, you can literally play anything you want. You can play anything you want and you'll understand it in and out. Tonally, atonally, you could play pop music, you could play honestly anything. And it's so much fun. Just the learning process of it and hearing yourself play afterwards um, and just show it off to your family and friends and it's such a valuable skill to have as a musician or a non-musician it's a valuable skill for anybody and it's going to help you so much in um not only that but ear training theory um it's going to help you with like listening to music as well so after you learn how to play the piano and you learn how um, it works, you're gonna start listening to music a lot differently than you do now. And it's gonna be a completely new world. So good luck, it's gonna be great. Thanks so much for that message. And enough said, it makes me wanna learn the piano and I've been trying to learn for so long. <laughs> so that's really <laughs> wonderful, thank you. And with that, we will Stop this video and say, have you practicing? So, have you practicing? Good luck. Yay. Thank you.